All right, so this is viewer suggested, but I've already I've already tested the four amp and the five amp battery with the 82 CS34, and we proved beyond a doubt that the five amp battery runs it better with more power. Now, according to the specs, this has enough power to run it, and this doesn't. So I didn't think that a bigger battery would make a difference, but it's possible that it could. So we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna do it with the four amp battery, the five amp battery, and the eight amp battery. And we're gonna see if there's a difference in cut speed, cut time. So I do wanna, I wanna uh, weigh these things up because there is, there is a sizable difference in the weight of the saw from four amp to eight amp. So 19 pounds, five ounces, four amp. 20 pounds, 13 ounces, 5 amp, and 23 pounds, 6 ounces with the 8 amp. And I think, I think it's actually 3 ounces low on oil. So add 3 ounces to each one of those for the totally full weight. But we're going to try these out, and we're going to see... If there's a difference, they all have 100% charge, so we're also going to see after a couple of cuts on a 20-inch log how much energy the battery has left, because I don't think it'll be a linear difference. Okay, there's going to be six cuts, two with each battery. Let's out, see how this does. Four amp battery. All right, so I could definitely feel the difference here. I'm used to working with the five amp battery. Because ever since I got one, that's always what I use when I'm cutting. Because the you know, four amp stalls out if you kind of push it in any way whatsoever. So I do. I stall. I keep stalling the saw because I'm used to cutting with a five amp battery. I probably could have gotten a slightly better time. I mean, without the stalls, but I would have had to go easier. So it still would be a similar time. I mean, I might have been able to get it from 26 seconds down to like, I don't know, like 23 or 24, but maybe it still would have been as high as that because to not stall the saw, I have to go really easy on it. All right, two cuts and that's 81% on the battery. All right, so here I'm cutting with the five amp hour battery, and I'm pretty I'm pretty familiar with cutting with this. this. Is what I usually cut with, so I can I can ride the saw right at its maximum potential without pushing it hard enough that it stalls most of the time. But it's still a pretty fine line. Like I have to keep the balance pretty tight, or it'll stall the saw. I mean that that cut there was about the best I'm going to get with that battery. I think in the second cut I actually do stall the saw. Um, you know, add a little time to it. But after I used the uh, 60 volt with the 8 amp hour battery, I did notice that uh, it seemed like it had a lot more leeway. Two cuts and that's 87% on the 5 amp battery. And now the 8 amp battery. A viewer had mentioned to me as well that he got a lot out of the saw with the 8 amp hour battery, so I decided it was time to give it a try. I can really feel the difference with this thing. It, it's more like a traditional saw. Like, I can get it to cut out, I tried it later, but the saw starts to bog down first, and so it gives you that chance where you feel the saw start to bog, and then you can back off a little bit so that it's still chewing at top speed. So there's definitely a difference with this 80th hour battery. I can definitely get faster cuts with it for sure. And there's a noticeable power difference that's available on the saw. But there's also a very noticeable weight difference. So you have to be really sure that this is the one that you want to use because it's going to cost you like four pounds over the battery that it comes with and another two pounds over the five amp battery but you're getting twice the amount of cut time and definitely noticeably more usable power for when you want to use this saw at its full potential 
All right, so one other thing I did want to mention on getting this 8 amp hour battery is that this battery is like 500 bucks. I think it's $494. And, um, you know, that's a lot of money. So I shopped around because I always like trying to get a deal if I can. And I saw one of those kitted deals where uh, uh, I think it was Sohar's RCPW Commercial Parts Warehouse. They, um, they were running a special. And it was a 21 inch lawnmower with a dual charger, an eight amp hour battery, and I think it was $639. And then it was a $10 off coupon, but then it was $50 shipping. So I wound up paying, I think it was like just under, it was like $677 for the eight amp hour battery, but I also got a charger and the this generation mower deck um, that keeps a constant 1700. Uh, 1700 mile per hour no i i don't even know foot per second it's a blade speed it keeps a constant blade speed the ones that i had the one that i had before it had this like auto feature where in shorter or not as rough grass it would it would go to a lower rpm and then when it got tougher it would kick the rpm up and i don't really care for that so i like the idea of constant speed better and i, I guess it adjusts the torque so when it's the grass is less, it's not using as much power to keep that speed. And then when it detects it needs more, it gives more. And I like the idea of that a lot better. So to offset the cost of this battery, I'll sell the charger because I have many other chargers and I'll sell the last generation mower that I have. And so hopefully, you know, in the end, I'll get a newer mower and I'll get this battery and I will have maybe only spent like two or 300 bucks. So, Hopefully, just, just try and throw some tips out if anyone uh, is involved the way I am because I'm, I'm constantly trying to, you know, get more of what's out there and upgrade my collection. But I uh, just wanted to toss that out because there's always kitted deals for batteries. So whenever I need a battery, I try to get a kitted deal rather than just the battery if I can. Um, in this case, that's what I did, and I'm real happy that I did. Thank you for the suggestion. This thing definitely runs better, and I and I should have really realized it when I was using the 60 volt saw, because um, the 60 volt saw with the 8 amp hour battery runs very close. Like these two saws were about the same performance. This one was just a little bit better, um, and now with this battery, this is back to being you know a noticeably more powerful saw, and. Uh, I like that. I like to maximize this thing. So for everyone who has an A2 CS34, it's heavy, but if you want to get the most power out of it, the 8 amp battery will give you the most power.